Hey, welcome back. This is Jan from Amikit. Today I would like to show you some essential tips and tricks for using Amikit. But don't worry, it's not just for beginners. Uh, I bet even some experienced users might discover something new here. So let's dive in. This is Amikit version 12.8.3, the latest release as of July 2025. I'm running the Windows edition here, but the tips and tricks I'm about to show you apply to all versions, whether you are on Mac, Linux, Raspberry Pi, or even PyStorm. So my personal favorite is when you double click with your mouse on an empty area of Amikit desktop like this. A device list appears and it includes all the mounted uh, devices, whether those are Windows devices or Mac devices or uh, Amikit devices, and the list of system assigns. Another essential knowledge regarding Amikit is uh, switching the window between icon mode view and the name mode view with this icon on the toolbar. This is extremely useful if you want to copy some files or inspect some files because this name mode includes uh, many details regarding the files and folders and also it's useful like I said, for copying files. For example, you click, for example, here, and then if you want to copy files, you simply choose copy from this menu over, over here. But notice that uh, this window has a red font over here, while this font this window is uh, uh, yellow. This means this one is the source lister or source window and this one is the destination one. You can switch them uh, uh, in, in here like make destination or make source and this one we make destination or we switch it so we make this one source and this one becomes destination automatically and now we can copy from this window to the destination window. Why is this important actually? Because, for example, you can have more windows opened, which, can, uh, which you can set to be destination. For example, make this destination and lock it as destination and this one as well, look at this destination. And now we can copy something to both destinations at once. Like this, again, I choose from this menu, copy or copy as, move, move as. So let's copy. And suddenly this clipboard folder is here and here as well. What are useful. Okay, let me show you some more operations you can do with files and folders. Let's open this device. Let's open RAM. And let's open RAM again, for example, by double clicking here and selecting RAM. And now let's make a new folder over here. So you right click over here on this frame and you select new folder let's call it new folder and now you can choose whether you want to have it with icon or not let's select without it and select one more new folder 2 and uh, let's open a new folder here and new folder Two over here, make both windows as destinations 
and now we can copy something there. But again, when you copy something or move something, it's the best if you switch the view to, to name, name mode, not the icon mode. And let's copy this one. And it's there. Now I can delete it with this icon. Delete all, unprotect all. And what you can do with files is that you right click some file over here and a specific menu will appear, which is specific to the um, given file type. So for example, let's click this fast, fast file system and you can check it for viruses or check the version in information. Or if you have some pictures or photos, uh, for example here, mm, pack drops. So you can click the PNG to show the picture or you can right click and choose a different program to open this photo, for example, with multi-view or for example, with the mystic view. Also, you can set it as a background. So let's see, let's take this picture right click it select set as background i found it <laughs> and suddenly we have a background to keep the background there you need to open uh, dope settings environment and press save this will save the new settings. Okay, let me show you some more operations. Uh, so, for example, you can choose everything in the given folder by clicking this icon. When you right click it, it will clear the selection. Or if you have something already selected and you click the middle mouse button over here, it will invert the selection. Okay, that's it, at least for now, because part two is coming, so see you soon. Nice ace, bro.